Playing some golf. Playing some kick the ball golf. Well, I'm just as good with a club, which is really bad. <laughs> Welcome to my bad. club. Hey, I brought a bag of clubs. Let's What's go. Up, Put them on the court. We're gonna tee it off. Well, Here it is, right there. Good part this thing. Look at that. Well, let me get the other thing. Yes, sir. Check that out. Find out what everybody's made of so, on this golf course. Today. I'm assuming we're playing for first shot. That's so be yes, best spot. That was literally my thought, ex exact thought too. Is I think that we play a hole, and winner gets to choose the best first spot. Second gets to choose the next one, and so on and so exactly. forth. <sighs> These boys don't know what they're in for. All right, guys. So here's the deal. Most of you guys saw the video of us last season, uh, last January, hunting the golf course. It was an abandoned golf course. Had like huge plans to plant food plots, develop that whole course into like this incredible hunting mecca. Unfortunately, it's being developed. It's actually already being developed into apartments. Um, so that was a huge blow to us. We were so stoked for that place and that fell through way sooner than we thought. But Jay actually, actually recently got permission at this golf course, a new one. It's actually a fully functioning open course. Um, same course that he just killed one of his bucks at a couple weeks ago. Uh, he just called up the owner and kind of had a conversation and the owner has actually been wanting people to come out here and thin out these deer. So today we're just gonna ride around. They gave us two golf carts. We got two Rambo bikes and Thomas has the one wheel. And we're just gonna kind of check it out, go check out the different pockets of woods, find four places to set up stands and cameras, and then come back next Tuesday to do a little doe hunt. So there's a bunch of different little pockets of woods. This one here is probably the biggest chunk and biggest funnel on the whole course and probably the thickest bedding area too. So I think we go there first and then check out some of these other smaller pockets coming out of the neighborhood. But to me, this is like the best, this is the best late season spot out here. And I think we'll catch deer coming from actually another neighborhood across the road that's got a bunch of woods. What are the cart path rules today? <laughs> you can't tell anything about 90, 90 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> You got right this in. side, and then you got this side here. This whole point right here looks really good. Out on that dam right there, that pond dam. I do like, I do like it. Yeah, that little corner there looks real good. Yeah. We got a track right here. Feels probably, she's around the 80 pound range though. You taste it? How fresh is it? I'd say a year and a half old, 100 and, no, 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 not that big. 80 pounds is the max. Wait a minute now, here's another one. Mm. Could it be the same deer? First set hung. Three more to go. We're trying to figure out where to put a stand. The issue is most of the private property comes like right to the edge of the course. And the only options, tree options, are like pretty out in the open. I say let's go look for more spots because okay. we got a lot more holes to cover. Okay. And then we can always come back. All right, let's do it. So, let's roll.
All right, so we're at the third stop on the golf course. Uh, definitely coming to stand here. There are trails coming all through here. There's actually a bunch of rubs. But Jay just killed a buck like in one of these backyards, basically up in one of these gullies. And from his stand, I mean, you could see these deer pouring out and it's basically a massive pinch. They're coming in between these two ponds right here, crossing the dam and coming right into this stretch of woods. There's trails everywhere going right here. There's definitely gonna be some deer coming through here. So get a stand up and we got two more to go. I'm like perfect height level for a golf ball. Six. I want y'all to remember your ball so you don't be taking credit for anybody else's, you hear? All right, give me that one. You want a title? That's a Titleist 2. That's a practice. Practice Titleist 2 Pro V1. Titleist 1. You want red or black? Wait a minute, I'll swap with red. That that's my red. favorite color. This one? Yeah. That's just a slick old Pro V1. I'll take it. Not no, a practice. Titleist 2 practice. It's a Pro V1 392 is what it is. Mine's got red on it. Wait, you've got a what? I got Titleist 2, but mine's practice. I'm a 1 practice. All right. You're a two practice. I'm a Pro V1X, so I'm good. That's a women's ball. No, what is this mess? Oh, get out of here. We're dancing on the fairway. No way. I'm not following that. <laughs> nope. I'm excited to see this I'm one. I'm not following that. Heavy. You're gonna hold. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find that ball. Okay. <laughs> wow! Oh, whatever, dude. That was pure. <laughs> I didn't want to follow Lee. <laughs> what do you think about that? Even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> drive. Nice. <laughs> you just torched us. <laughs> that, was, well, that was all damn. arms too. That did hurt. I'm in third place damn. right now. <laughs> oh, he shanks it. <laughs> Bunker. In the trap. That's not what I was looking for. Wow. Great contact. All right. Just sit down by the cart path. No, it's going to hit. It. That'll work, okay. dude. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Stinger? Still quite running it. Sheesh. Okay. If this goes in, one of y'all has to jump in the pond. <laughs> That's a pretty good poke at it now. Dang. Settle. What in Settle. the world? Settle. I'm putting for par. Jay's for putting for par. Are you putting for bogey? Yeah. Kendall. I'm pulling a Tiger Woods and I'll be negative 13. <laughs> oh, Ooh. and he kills it. Ooh. He what am kills I doing? it. That might Dude, that is terrible. You know what? You're up again. <laughs> Dang, oh. Not a bad comeback. Not bad. I want to see it played out. Yeah, you got to. This ain't, this ain't no gimme. Went to the double bogey from a far putt. That's bad. <laughs> Shank it. This is to tie him this, up, man. This might, take, this might take a minute. This, this is to tie him up. There it is. Oh, 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 come on. Stop. <laughs> All right. There it is. Wow. Good finish. That was pure. Beautiful. Good finish. <laughs> All right. To tie, Kendall. <laughs> That's what you should have been doing the whole time. 
All right, let me let me try to knock out Lee here. Easy. And done. Dang it. I wanted the fishing spot. Mm. I don't know who's fishing out of a tree. <laughs> God, me. Well, so we got three sets out today, two stands, three cameras out. Uh, finally started seeing some deer on our way back in. So there's a couple more spots that we need to check out, like this one right here behind the parking lot. But so far, I mean, I think we got the good, like the best spots covered. I know Lee and I are gonna hunt next Tuesday. Kendall and Jay will probably come the Tuesday after that. Uh, so we should have two good sits out here and hopefully, hopefully kill a handful. It needs to be, it needs to happen out here. So uh, getting the stuff unloaded, then bring the carts back. You have an extra SD card? Yeah. Oh. All right, we got two carts. You're headed that way in the cart. I'm headed that way in the cart. You ready to get it? Yeah, let's get it. Bye. Well, we blew that. Got in way too late. Should have been here 20 minutes earlier. I was still getting this camera arm hung and those does came in. And they had, be, they had me pinned down for like 20, 30 minutes. And I was just, I didn't have my bow ready or anything. It was still in the sling. Didn't have my release on. And so I tried to get it up and, and set without them seeing me, but they saw me and busted, so they're walking back up the draw where all these deer bed down. This stupid chip in here, way earlier. was a bummer. I had all of those does coming and the lead doe got, I mean, she was probably 10 yards from me and just silhouetted me in the tree. It's tough this time of year because there's just no cover left and uh, I need to get this stand higher. But the lead doe just, I mean, she saw my silhouette, wasn't sure what was going on and then they just kind of turned around and went the other way, but there's still plenty of deer in this area. Those group of five are not the only deer here, so. We're gonna sit tight for another hour, hour and a half before this uh, golf tournament comes in here. And hopefully someone will come strolling in. Feeling pretty good that something will.
I'll give these deer a little credit. They busted us this morning. You win some, yeah. you lose some. The deer won today. I'm glad we came a week early to get the kinks worked out before. Yeah, for sure. We need to do some adjusting, get some stand move around. But uh, I don't know. There's always a learning curve when you're hunting a new place of just like figuring it out. And it's the same thing in Birmingham. So I think we move some stands around and then uh, get ready to come back next next week when uh, Kendall and Jay can join us, get the, the whole squad out here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to sling arrows. May throw a camera at it as well. Oh, man, team mom. That's actually mine. This is not yours. This was Walmart. I, I gave that to you. These are like gold. I gave that to you in Nashville. Oh, I didn't go to Nashville. I know. <laughs> I've got one. Are you shooting or fishing? Fishing for sure. You Hold sure? on, i got to get my swing right. If you were like sitting in a saddle and you like really had to go, there was like a Velcro opening. It would just be... I don't know. Is Convenient. Speak, uh, Get hit with a case of the bubble guts. TK and Mike came out with a Porto Pooper. Hmm? TK and Mike came out with the Porto Pooper. You don't even know who TK and Mike is. Oh, yeah. What is a Porto Pooper? You ever heard of TK and Mike? Yeah. Okay. What's a Porto Pooper? It's a Porto, Porto. Porto. Man. Porto Pooper. Pooper. Yeah. Good luck, fellas. Peace out, boys. All right, today's the day. It's been about two weeks since we set the stands up on the golf course. Um, we got all four of us out here today. I actually set up a camera at a new spot yesterday and only had a buck come through. So we called an audible last second and I'm going to film slash hunt slash fish with Jay at the number one pick since he won the golf challenge. We're going to the pond. There's a chance that we uh, both get to shoot something, honestly, because this is probably the best best spot on the course. These coolers are a little too small for deer, but I'm sure these golfers are pretty confused at what's happening right now. My spot's right up here on the left. So I was here like the other evening. There's deer that are just funneling on this hillside and coming into this green grass right here and feeding around. And I think there's still some like leftover acorns in this tree because they were all feeding under, under that tree. So, I mean, I literally saw like eight of them here the other night. Well, you're gonna have to time the wind because I see that pine tree doing this. <laughs> I'm way up there. Good luck. Alright, you too, man. It's go time. I feel like I'm ice fishing. It's like drop shotting. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like drop shot. drop shot. I go with ice fishing today. Yeah, that's true. sucks um, that was five does that I busted when I walked in they went on the other ridge came back in and fed this way like I thought they would but they were eye level with me essentially being way up on this hilltop and the wind just switched on me I mean it just switched for just a few minutes and it started blowing to them and with them being that level with me it didn't take much they caught my wind and blew out of here oh, that stinks
20 yard long in the trap. Just shanked one right here at us, <laughs> like under us. Lights out, baby. Baby, I wasn't gonna let a season go, another season go by without getting a deer on the golf course. Oh yeah, big old girl. Who's that? Big old head on her. What we came for? Big mature does. 
saw four or five. And uh, shot the first big one that came in because we were planning on trying to double up tonight. But every other deer that tried to come back, I guess it was probably the same group, kept walking into her. And she had blood just all up through there. What's up, fellas? Hi. Did y'all get you one? Yes, sure did. I did too. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I had five right as I got in the tree. Or they, they ran over the ridge that way. Yeah. As soon as I got climbed up, like 30 minutes later, they came back and my wind was good. And then it switched on me and blew right to him. And it was, it wasn't long at all. And they just blew out of there and took off. There she blows. Hey, golf ball. Did we get anything? We got something. I saw there was like four buddies playing golf. They're coming down this hole. They one guy music? Are they jamming? Blaring music. Y'all yeah, heard them? Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe, okay, that, well, maybe that's what, what I'm talking about. So this one guy shanked a ball like right underneath my stand. And he's like looking, he's looking in the grass, he's looking in the grass, and he just like reaches in his pocket and throws a ball down. As he does that, no. one of his buddies goes, Hey, did you find your ball? He goes, yeah, I just found it right here. No. <laughs> just no. Right I was like, man. You said what you saw? I 12. saw at least 12 tonight. You saw at least 12 or more, we, right? We saw 13, 13 and a pretty nice buck. I mean, pretty decent four, eight buck. And I mean, 30. this course is not that big. That's over no. 30. There are a ton of deer out here. There's, we, room, we, there's room to do this a few more times for sure. Yeah, we saw five, you know, just riding around. Just a ton. Uh, yeah. We saw yeah. a ton of pulling out. Just a whole yard full of them. Take that one up. We just did a doe management episode and we took these deer to the processor and took them to a homeless shelter downtown. Same things happened to these guys. So, Jay, appreciate you being our chauffeur boy on that one. Sorry, right, I'm gonna make y'all clean these golf carts up. <laughs> you, take, you take the deer to the processor, we'll clean the golf carts. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us some ideas in the comments. We're actually looking at doing our next giveaway for 2021. I think we should look at doing like a hunt giveaway. But it's only for subscribers, so you got to subscribe. We also talked about truck. Maybe, maybe the limo, maybe, <laughs> maybe wow. a truck. I don't know. To be determined. But you got to subscribe to be able to chance to win whatever we come up with for this year. Something good. Something good for sure. Yeah. 2020 is behind us. We got 2021, new year, good things coming. Yep. Indeed. Thanks you guys for watching. See ya.